and good morning people welcome back to Dragon Quest 11 on the second time of trying we have freed Queen Freezebel but not before Crystalinda decided to try and sneak one past us once more however she failed but she decided I'm going to protect Queen Frisabelle because Queen Frisabelle said I don't want you to fight her I don't want you to harm her she's not got her mag uh, her magical power well she has a bit but uh, not the majority of it and she's her friend because they were talking through the book so Sniffleheim is back to normal and in its rightful hands we're gonna leave them be because they will be just fine however out in the snare fe uh, snow felt we need to head east we're heading to Yggdrasil we have all six orbs now the way to the first forest and Yggdrasil goes through the Arborean Heights or the High Arborean, Hi Arborean Highlands so let's head that way past the frozen fjord past that dragon that um, seems a bit frozen we don't need to deal with that though we are heading onwards and well this is a very big change of climate isn't it We've suddenly gone from winter to spring three pieces of treasure and four sparkly spots as you might guess we can only get to two of them at this particular point there does happen to be a town in the way I believe we can only get to one treasure as well not completely certain on that though we do have new enemies though we've got the runny exoskeleton uh, runny exoskeleton and the whirly girlies but we also have boom anything rap I don't think I can no we 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 need another five points for that what other monsters do we have in the area we've got cyclopses which we already have faced grenades living statues whirly girlies runny exoskeletons and I don't believe there's anything more on this particular side So let's have a quick check of things the exoskeletons are here for a very good reason 
and we'll get to that in just a moment once we've gone past these statues. Yeah, we need to go up. We literally can't get uh, go too much further without going up. So let's grab our transportation. So, in we go, and I do believe there's one or two items along this, uh, along this route. As we're heading up, so I need to be on the lookout for those. There's one. Pretty important since it's a mini metal. And I do believe the last two, uh, the look, was it last two? Yeah, I believe there's one down south and one just to the north of Arboria. And yes, you did hear that right. We've got a homecoming for our twins. So, let's um, take them home. So, welcome to Arboria. Who would have thought a place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail? It's... breathtaking. Oh, stop it, you. You're making me blush. Although, I suppose the old hometown is pretty amazing. Wait, you mean this is... Arboria. It is indeed. Welcome to Arboria. Home of the Keepers, the ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches, and of Veronica and I. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. The altar in the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. But we should stop off in Arboria before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. Well, 
there's probably good reason for us to be here. And, well, one of the reasons you might guess is, well, I would like all the items in the area. There aren't really too many, if I remember correctly. Yeah, just ten. And no sparkly spots. But there's sheep. There's people. And there's little hidden away items out like this one. We're not going to get really too far into it because, well, this town. The great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the source of all life and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One life ends and another begins. O oh, mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arborea. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent boughs. Ah. Well, well. Our beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Everyone seems well. Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not taller when last we met? Well, uh, it's a long story. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. The luminary. Oh. Can it really be? Ah, oh, what a blessed day this is. Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, but the luminary also. I am Benedictus, High Priest of Arborea, and I have waited my whole life for this moment. Holy Father, on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. I see. So this, Mordigan, has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest, and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes, but we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest, we think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Ah, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life, the luminary beside you. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. All is now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me, 
and I will show you the way. <clears throat> And we have them all in our possession. Why does he say when you have them? Because you can actually come here without them in all in your possession. Uh, you can uh, as soon as you've got access to the salty stallion, your boat. You can actually go north to Sniffleheim, go through the go through the region, go through the Snarfelt and get here with just two in your possession at that point I believe so yes you can come here really early but I didn't I have them all so good for me first things first we are going up this way. Grove, Grove of Repose. There is, I believe, a treasure chest in here. I think. Maybe not. I and that girl wants a wisteria leaf. I think we can do that once we go to the first forest. Thought there was a treasure chest there. I guess not. Anyways, let's move on. break a couple of pots because we couldn't find a treasure chest seed of sorcery and hello Mr. Tocke, uh, Tockle I actually I believe I want to go back and do that before I head over to the first forest actually because I'm I have quite a few passwords here I believe if I can go to the correct yeah I've got nine waiting out of the 25 I've got a lot of uh, things I can do in Tickington. <gasps> ah, book. Architect of the Ancients. Okay, a couple of uh, cupboards here. Ah, Celestial Sky, some more thread for something later, maybe.
I'm pretty sure there's a um, staple meal staple meal across the. Uh, entire world Elfin Elixir, not too bad and of course the book Memoirs of a Treasure Hunter, Volume 5 Sudon, no, uh, pseudonym. Well, that explains a lot, actually. Don't believe we can go this way. No. Any more treasures? I'm not going to be speaking to um. Can't even remember his name just yet. Earn the saint's ashes. Okay, that's nice. And how about down here? How many treasures left? Four pieces of treasure. Another cupboard. Some magic water. Okay. And I can't jump through the obvious gaping hole in the wall I didn't go into the item shop did I? and night time Timing is indeed fortuitous for you, isn't it? <laughs> Hello there. What do we have here? Sainted Soma. What do you have? Oh, you're not just an item store, you're a weapon and magic, uh, weapon and armor store as well, it seems. Not that you have anything that I'm interested in. Unless you've got any other breakable pots in here, but it doesn't look like you do. 
So the final house. Belongs to the twins. It's their family home. Doing okay. Heck, uh, they're doing more than okay. They're doing just fine. No comments about Veronica being young again. Seed of Herapusis. The birth of Arborea. Keepers, dreamers. Hello there. Supplicant. I think that's magical mending. No MP regeneration and a bit of charm. Ha. Huh. Do I want that instead of the fishnet suckings? How much would I lose? Not that much. But having a bit of MP re regeneration on Veronica is a really good idea. Yeah, I think I'm going to give her the supplicant as well. Anyways, let's head over to Benedictus. That's the name. We have all six orbs. Well, honoured luminary, shall we proceed? They tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the Luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. No. The first was born long, long ago, in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Edria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, 
the luminary of legend. He went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend here is the Luminary Reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. <laughs> As for Mordecai, I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, was born to banish. <laughs> you must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. <sighs> We're going to need it. But, uh, yeah. Serenica. Serena. Veronica. The names aren't chosen just by random chance. Anyways, hello there. Okay. Super soup. Okay, what do we do? Head deep into the first forest. Bring back a single leaf of the most vital ingredient of all. Red Kale. Or is it Red Kale? I'm... I think it's Kale. So, fit as a fiddle. Did that person in the Grove of Repose become a quest opportunity? Yes, they did. Wishtaria. White bulb, defeat them in battle. Okay. And we get the healer card, I think that is. So, is that all the quests, or am I missing one or two? Nope, that is all the quests. Except for, of course, Tockington ones. So, the plan is, do these quests, come back, then go to Tickington to do this quest of the to do the quests in the echo chamber for the tockles. Yeah, I think that's the plan indeed. That'll get me a little bit of a ways into First Forest. Hopefully enough to get me a zoom point. And then from there, we can uh, get to Yggdrasil after we've done all the bits in Tickington.
so we should have our three missing enemies down here. It's night time, so I think we'll get one of the ones here as well for that. And here's two of them. The blood bonnets and the goo bonnets. I believe one's good against magic and one's good against physical, but I couldn't tell you if that's actually what the case is with them. Whatever happens, they're getting boomed. And 400 experience for just four of them. That's actually pretty impressive. And there's our last enemy. Come on down. The Ethereal Serpent. It's a dragon. That's flying. Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon! I believe it attacks twice in a turn. But it's not really too strong. Eight hundred and twenty experience points just for that though. That's nice. And that is all the enemies. Ah, we've got a uh, what's the thing called? I well, it's laughing at me because I can't rem remember its name. Grenade, that's it. And there is one more treasure, isn't there? Which I believe is east and over the bridge. Let's get this spot on the map though so we can zoom to it. Oh, some uh, what have we got? Platinum ore, platinum ore, silver ore. Not really needed, but I'll take them. Silk Blossom, Silk Blossom, Finger Sense. Not really what I'm looking for either. I'm looking for a item for the ma that magic shield. Magic circle? Is that a shield? It is. Oh no, it's a boomerang. Quite a bit of attack, some ma uh, some MP, some charm.
it's not too bad. I'm not really set up for boomerangs at this moment in time though. I'm still set up for daggers on Eric. So we're going to have to hold off on that for the moment. So let's head into the first forest. We've got everything we can get from that area. Six pieces of treasure. And we need to get up to Yggdrasil's altar. It's not really that long a journey, actually. Not really. There's a few sparkling spots. There's a lot of monsters, though. And I believe there's a couple of rarefied monsters in here. So we can't take that lightly either. But we're mostly here for the two quest items. And then we're leaving. And if we can pick up any of the treasures along the way, that's always a bonus. More Saints Ashes. What do they... what do those do? They're just random... Uh, they're just normal... Synthesis items, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really too worried about you. Hey, listen. And didn't even get the damage on it. But it's a Mosterdon, we don't need to worry about this. One thing we haven't checked though is hip drop. <laughs> yep. And we also haven't seen Unbridled Blade yet. Yep. Hip drop is exactly what it looked like. It, the, the main damage component for that is actually charm, so having the additional damage with that is great, because Jade gets a lot of it later. And Unbridled Blade is just a upgraded version of Cutting Edge. For these though, we want Heli Chopter. Well, I guess if I'm going to find them from any monsters, here would be a good time for that. Spellbound Bows. Yes, I need those. That's what would make a magic shield, or if I wanted to, some magic armor for the hero. Jowlers don't really want to, uh, don't really need to deal with them. I do want to go through here though.
statues and whatever these are. Ah, fruity succubats. So, succubats with a fruity twist. And of course, living statue isn't much help. Did I do all right? Okay. What I want is this thing at the back. Is that just another fruity succubat? Ah, oh, I thought it was going to be something unique. There's me for hoping. Okay, what do we have here? How to outdo the undead? Zombie slayers? Really? That's it? I mean, it's a okay sword, but it's not anything to say, yes, I want that. Ethereal stone isn't too bad, though. of magic water and if I'm correct there should be a way up oh no we've got to go round a little bit more because over here there's a tightrope So, how are we doing on enemies? We still need another six. And one of them is one we have is one we need for a quest. Wouldn't be surprised if they come out at night actually. Do you spy another treasure though? Savvy Sapphire. So that's three more pieces of treasure. I haven't found the the other one that we're looking for as well. That's a red Carly enchanted stone. But I don't want to go too far up north. Um. Actually, I should be okay as long as I don't go too far past um, the altar, or too close to the altar. Do I want to do it tonight? I'll put it tonight now. Yeah, let's put it tonight now. 
and when we come up here properly we'll have it during the day for any last remaining enemies bite bulbs should be available to us at this point is it bite bulbs or fright bulbs or whatever they are uh no i actually wanted this one but uh i'll take both then okay infantical and a stump champ infantacles are basically the lowest versions of the Manticore style enemies, so we're going to see quite a few of these a bit more later. Wonderful. And these again. Okay, st stump champs have a snooze, which actually is pretty dang terrible because um, it put everyone to sleep. And when they're asleep, they can't exactly do anything until they wake up. <laughs> Hello there, what are you? You look like a demon, at the very least. A Musifer. Um, okay. Yeah! And you breathe fire. I... I shouldn't even be surprised anymore. That was 50 damage against that. That's... For Serena's... Mag no, for Serena's atta attacking power. And yes, it is doing extra damage. That's still pretty ridiculous. Okay. Do we have our last enemy around these bulbs? Then again, I am looking for the... Uh, let's not fall off the... That's a bell cap. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. Not looking for stump champs either. Ah, there's a glowing golden glowing bit, so that's excellent. That's what we're aiming for. Um Right, that is where we need to stop. That uh, piece of string just back there.
So all we need now is three enemies. Is it up there? I'm going to have to go check. Aren't I? Uh, but not before I save. <laughs> Yeah, three enemies, one of them being the bite, uh, the fright bulb. Pretty sure Musafers are night only. I am going to have a quick check off the side here though, just to make sure I'm not missing any enemies down there. Not that I can see much. Yeah, there's a Musafer down there that wasn't there before, so they must be the night enemy. So we need the bite button, the fright bulbs during the day up here. All right, so I am going to save and I'm going to go a little bit further. And if we get into a scene, I am going to instantly reset, basically. Because I don't really want to go any further before dealing with the Tickenton quests and the last two quests we've got here. Okay, you don't care about things during the day. Stump champs don't really mind. I oh, don't really need to deal with you. We're going to have to go up. That's it. That's that's the one I want. That's it. Sprite bulbs. Okay, not sprite bulbs. Close enough. don't mind fire actually that's fine heli chopped will finish this did I do all right and that wasn't the one Don't tell me it's a rarefied sprite bulb. Actually, that would make sense. Thank you, it didn't take too long. <laughs> the white bulb. Ah, so you paralyze. I think you're flying enough for Harvest Moon, though. No, you're not. Okay.
Der ist Multifostin. Alright, so you paralyze and you shout. The shout is a little bit more. A little bit more dangerous, but uh, we have Tingle, which luckily enough actually affects everyone. Perfect panacea. Nice. And the wish terror leaves. Um, so yeah, let's zoom back. There is one more. I can go to our boy. There is one more enemy here. It's a little bit further up, if I remember correctly. And there are a few treasure chests, but they're a little bit further up as well. I believe one is directly below the altar, actually. Here's your red Carly. I guess the best tonics do taste horrible. So, that's one down. Let's go help out the person who's a bit sickly. We do. Here you go. So, your wish won't be going away, curing your cough immediately, but at least you've got something to look forward to. Healer, uh, that's magical mending, isn't it? No, it's HP regeneration, which makes sense as well. I don't think it's as good as the MP regeneration. MP regeneration in this game is really rare and really powerful, I feel. But HP regeneration is good in some ways as well. So, next time, we are going to spend some quite some time in 2D mode in Tickington. I need to make sure I've got all the passwords that I can get at this point. It says there's one in Port of Valor and one in Gondolia. But I'm pretty sure I can't get to those yet because they're behind locked doors. They're behind the silver doors, so I think I have them all. I am going to check though. And next time, 
off to Tickington. Well, I'll meet you in Tickington in 2D mode. And we will head you now we will go through the tomes of previous adventures. So until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.